Hi, we're back in the kitchen, and as you can tell, we are, and I'm waving a knife again, we are at Oxford United Methodist Church here on Burdick Street, and we're here for the free meal program. We got new people coming in tonight. Pauline is here as always. Gage and Liam just went downstairs. So Connie's Kitchen is at the church kitchen tonight. So what I, all I'm doing right now is the beginning prep for our dinner. Um, I cooked up just some basic chicken breasts, salt, pepper, garlic, threw them in the oven. And now I'm cutting them to bite size because we're going to make a kind of a chicken salad, pasta. Good thing I don't have to title these things. Anywho, um, so my, ep my episode with Strawberries and Promises started airing yesterday. And one, you want to get a chance to watch it because I'm real proud of that. It was, it was a kind of a tough one to do, but especially thanks to Kyle, it turned out great. And I'm real happy with it. So watch that. This weekend is the Tough Mudder coming into Oxford. And I will be up at the lodge all weekend because I have guests coming in for that and other things. So we are booked up. So it's going to be a busy weekend. So I'm going to cut these. Pauline is over there cooking the noodles. And then we're going to add the noodles to the chicken. We're going to add some onion and celery. Just a real basic chicken type thing. It's uh, didn't know what the weather was going to do. So I didn't know whether to go hot or cold, heavy or light. So I kind of did both. So that's what I'm working on right now. And I forgot my favorite knife. So I'm using the wrong kind of knife. And it's frustrating me, but I will not, I won't get angry with it on camera. How's that? <laughs> so what we're going to do then is just going to dress it real simply with what I call mom's dressing, which she used to make for potato salad. And that's just mayo and mustard and milk and some sugar. And then we're going to chop up a salad and send that down and with some fresh bread and butter. And then the Girl Scouts are coming tonight, I understand, to set up a dessert table for our guests. So if we get a chance later, we'll sneak downstairs and uh, maybe get, get a look at what's going on down there before the guests arrive. So I'm waiting because they're supposed to be here just about any time. So what else have we got? I've talked to you recently. I mean, I told you I'd be back soon, and here I am. This, by the way, is episode 39. And the next one we shoot will be Big 40 with Chris coming back. So that'll be fun. So what else have we got? Yo, something I wanted to mention, it was pointed out to me that because oh, so many of you are viewing us now from other communities, when I make reference to things around Oxford, you might not know what I'm talking about. But uh, you come out to Oxford, of course, if you want to stay someplace nice and have great food, you come to the lodge. But we have a wonderful park system. I think we have five parks. And Downtown Oxford is lovely. A lot of historic buildings, some great restaurants, nice park with a gazebo right downtown. Uh, just north, or just north, just south of here is Lake Orion, as those of you in Lake Orion know. Another beautiful historic community. And they have a lot of fun stuff going on too, especially during the summer. They have, they have their flower fair already. They've got dragon on the lake coming up. The um, Lake Orion mascot is the dragon, so they do I'm not sure exactly it's a boat race. It seems to be some sort of competition, but everybody has a really good time. Then later in the summer out at Seymour Lake Park here in Oxford, they'll be having the big festival with a carnival and entertainment and all sorts of fun stuff. And of course in August, right here going right down the middle of M24 downtown, we'll have the Lone Ranger Parade. And that's part of the Lone Ranger Festival here in town. If you want to go ahead and start chopping up veggies and such, go ahead. I think the cucumbers are going to end up in here. You want them in here? I think so. After they're drained and cooled, then they're going to get spread in here amongst the three. And this year, now last year, if you remember, I was fortunate enough to host President and Mrs. Lincoln at the lodge. This year, I understand General Custer's coming. So we'll see if we have some time, if he has some time to sit down and chat a bit, and maybe we can put something out there. So if any of you can't make it, you'll be able to see and hear General Custer, which would be a very cool thing. So this is really exciting, isn't it? Just sitting here chopping chicken with the wrong knife. See, I even, you're not even using it. I gave you my big knife. I thought you'd want to use it. Okay. Hi, how are you?
We are filming right now. Hello. hello. And in just a moment, when we go to break, I'll say a proper hello and put you to work. And that's uh, coming up pretty soon. Right now, I'm just chopping chicken. We had some of our new volunteers have just arrived, which is very exciting. And I'm going to put them all to work. So when we come back, you're probably going to see somebody else standing here chopping up chicken. Because it is the most exciting part of the whole thing, just watching me chop things. So... <laughs> But anyway, as I mentioned, the chicken was already seasoned when I baked it. This is the easiest thing to do when you don't have a lot of time. You can do the chicken ahead of time. Just wash it, trim it, do whatever you want to do. Throw it in the oven at 350. Depending on the size, yesterday I did 20 minutes on one side and 10 minutes on the other. And then if you want it to not to be so pale, just before you serve it, you can throw it on the grill and get grill marks, and then people think you grilled it. And it stays nice and juicy if you put it right into a plastic bag. I mean, you can even see the juice in the bottom because there's nothing worse than chicken drying out. So we'll just keep working on that. And when we come back, we'll see some new faces. Welcome to American Legion in Oxford for the best fish on Fridays. That's right, from noon to 8.30, you can get the best walleye in Michigan. You can get walleye, baked cod, chicken strips, baked potatoes, and more on the hall side of the Legion. Oh, hello there, friends. You can have 12 friends on a table, any one of the best military museums in Michigan. And the dining side, oh, hello again. More comfortable with many four-seat tables and a couple of five-seaters. Now, on Friday, we have usually have about four to 500 of best friends for our fish. Carry out? You bet. We have 50 to 60 carryouts at the post. We have some young friends with the birthdays and some of our best seniors at the post. Oh yeah, waitresses, they go like a track waitress to get your food. If you have never enjoyed our secret, famous walleye at the Legion, come on in every Friday from noon to 8.30 at the American Legion Post, 108 on 130 East Rainer Road, Oxford. Well, I'm here amongst my fan club. Um, I was just making comment of the fact that Pauline had, was going to re-chop the cucumbers because they're a little big, and she didn't think I was going to mention it on camera, but I did. And then, then it was expressed that, you know, that everyone loves me. I'm not sure that's what they actually meant at that point, but I'm going to go with that. And look at me. I am not making you cut onions. Huh? Huh? We don't know that for a fact yet. That's true. There's always that red onion lurking uh, over there. It is, and there's used, too. Oh, you got that one. Yeah. So our new volunteers are downstairs. This is really nice. Uh, a friend of mine, I've mentioned him on the show, Wayne, his sister called, and one of her kids is getting ready to go into NHS and needed some community service hours. Would I be interested? Well, yeah. So all three kids came. So tonight we are going to have all young people downstairs doing all the work and serving and, and dealing with the guests, and I just think that's wonderful. I love getting kids in here and getting kids involved. And that just makes it very special for me. So right now, this is exciting stuff. Now I'm chopping up an onion. <laughs> I am so looking forward to produce coming, the summer produce coming in, aren't you? Oh, I mean, no, no. Boy, I bought a bag of onions last week. They look so nice, and I reached in today to take them out of the drawer, and they were all growing already. So obviously they had been grown and harvested quite some time ago. Those are not these onions, these are fresh onions. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this onion done and then I'm gonna start mixing up the dressing so you can see how that goes. How are we doing on the pasta? One is ready and the other will be short. Okay, did you chill it, rinse it? Uh, okay. So this is not really going to be cold like out of the refrigerator, but it's also not going to be hot. I kind of want it in the middle. So, And also with pasta, if you rinse it with cold water, when you take it off, it stops the cooking process. And when you're doing something like this, you really don't want mushy pasta. Well, I guess you don't ever really want mushy pasta. No. I may be Irish, but that much I do know. All right. Well, I have more chicken to chop and more onions to chop, but... put that there. I'm going to mix up, I don't know, I think it's a Canadian thing. Well, it involves mayo. 
But this is like a real basic dressing, as I said, my mom used to make for potato salad and that. <clears throat> and I found that it works really nice for things like this. And here I really do have a cleanup crew for afterwards. <laughs> All right, part of it's me, but I have people to help me. All right, so basic ingredients. Oh, don't want to forget the cheese. Mayo, mustard, milk, and some sugar. Since I've got three pans going, I'm going to want to make a goodly amount. That's another cooking term, goodly amount. So I've had more people calling me about uh, showers and scrapbooking and such. Now the scrapbooking, the spring special price is still in effect till the end of June. Even if you don't book, if you book for November or December, I will still honor that price till the end of June. So make sure you give me a call at 248-933-4579. Look me up on Facebook, which is where we update our events. Although there's something weird happening with our events right now and it's like it doesn't pop up but you can find it if you look for it or just call me. And if you just want to see pictures of the lodge and get a little bit of our story, you can go to our beautiful Treetop Lodge Oxford website. So, all right, so that's just, as I said, mustard, mayo, the sugar. I'm not sure why, maybe the sugar is to take the tang out of the mustard. But, you know, when mama tells you something, you don't argue. And now I'm mama and people don't argue with me. So I'm just going to mix and mix and mix, and then I'm going to thin that out a bit more, and then we'll disperse it amongst our three pans when they're ready. And, you know, you can add salt and pepper to the dressing while you're making it, but again, I don't like to add salt where it's not necessary, let people add their own. Because I find, too, people will pretty much automatically add it <laughs> whether they need it or not. So this way they're getting a little less salt, which is a good thing. And because I was really smart, yum, I'm gonna add a little bit more mayo. If I find my mayo spoon, I'm gonna mix that in, and that'll be pretty much ready. This is super simple. Um, it's also a good meal too, if you wanna make a lot of it, like you're having a big party or like here tonight. Um, you know, you can serve a lot of people, and it's hearty and it's healthy with fresh vegetables and the protein from the chicken. So, it's easy. I mean, the most time-consuming thing is probably the chopping. But then again, we all know how much I love to chop. So, I'm going to go back to that right now. So i got to get the rest of this chicken chopped up so we can be ready when our guests arrive. Give me the onion first. So if you uh, go back and take a look at episode 38, the one that just started airing yesterday, Kyle got some great footage from the shearing in there. So you actually get to see the alpacas. And in the one shot, the alpaca looks like it's asleep. People ask me if it hurts them, if they're afraid. I said, well, sometimes, you know, they get, yeah, they get nervous. But for the most part, because Matt and Katie are so good and so kind and so gentle, they just kind of lay down and say, okay, fine. And then they went out and they pronked talked about pronking that's that stiff-legged bouncing thing they do and I've never gotten to see it, see it live before but I got to see it after the shearing this year because they were just all so happy which I think I might have mentioned on the last show but that's okay if I repeat myself so we're gonna end up with chicken noodles onion celery cucumbers Colby Monterey Jack cheese and some dressing and then we're gonna throw together a tossed salad over here and then we'll, we'll have dinner for our guests. So, get back to the chicken now. So if you've got a group, like all book club, quilting, things like that, and you'd like to come up for an evening, like for dinner, or if you'd like to come up for a day's retreat, we do that sort of thing all the time, and the lodge is just perfect for that sort of thing. And everything is pretty much tailored to what you want. Do you want to come up and have a dinner? Do you want snacks? Of course, there's always chocolate involved. That's required. And that's not just a girl thing. 
find that the guys like the chocolate just as much as the ladies do. So that kind of brings you up to date. Um, one thing I'd like to mention, if you haven't seen the Oxford Leader, my fearless cameraman, um, Kyle, is up for an Emmy. He worked on a project for, um, the subject matter was the Holocaust, a living survivor. And I haven't gotten a chance to see it yet, but I understand it's fabulous. And we're just really proud of Kyle. He does really good work. I mean, he bails me out all the time. I'd get him to step in front of the camera and take a bow, but he won't. But if you see the camera go like this, then you'll know that's Kyle. So, you ready to get to work? Okay, well we're gonna break, and when you come back, you guys are gonna finish up by chopping for me, and we will see you in just a few minutes. So go ahead and wash up. Do you love local sports? Whether it's Oxford High School or Parks and Rec, you can buy copies of each game. To purchase your copy, call us at 248-628-9658, or give us an email at manager at occtv.org, or talk to us at the next game. Hopefully we'll see you there. All right, so we're back and you can see we have some new people here. You want to introduce yourself? Say hi to the camera. I'm Natalie. I'm Marissa. And their brother's here too, but he's hiding. Actually, they're all going to be downstairs serving later, so I've decided to put them to work here so we can get some of this ready to get it started going downstairs. And, nope, I'm going to come in on this side of you. Because I might have to, this way I have to make up more dressing. So we've added the noodles, the chicken, the freshly recut cucumbers, the celery, the onions. And we're just lightly tossing them now, and then they'll be ready to go downstairs. So we'll at least have one pan ready at 5.30. Pauline is working on putting together a tossed salad. And you can just start throwing the chicken right into these pans. Okie doke. We got Liam engaged slicing bread. And I'm going to step away. You keep, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Pauline, if you can get at least one bowl completely ready to go down, we can get it started. So, what do you think? All right, now who's going into NHS? Me. Are you? Mm -hmm. Well, good for you. Well, I'm glad She's you. She's a tenth grader. Yeah. I'm still a freshman. Are you? Yeah. Well, you know, it's hard to tell. You guys come from such a short family, and you're all so short. It's hard to tell who the oldest is. They're, it's your uncle, Wayne, yeah. right? Wayne and I went to high school together. I've mentioned him before. And uh, he and his wife, Janet, and son, Danny. And your mom called me the other day and said you were looking for some, some hours, so you are more than welcome. All right, do you think we're well mixed? Yep. All right, we'll put a lid on it. Get that one ready to go downstairs. Don't make it too neat. They'll know I didn't do it. No, you hold on to that. <laughs> so what we'll do is get this ready to go downstairs. So in the meantime, got the chicken going. I'm going to have you make up some more dressing. I know I keep flipping away here. I'm sorry. Now this is truly rocket science. Mayo, mustard, milk and a little bit of sugar. Just kind of throw it in the bowl, mix it with the fork. I'd give you another spoon, but I've lost all my spoons. And you got to work, you get to cut chicken with the wrong knife. So I didn't bring my favorite knife tonight. I mentioned that already. But and then we had to, uh, somehow some cabbage got in with the chicken. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> we'll get it together. And in just a few minutes, we'll at least have the first wave of food ready to go downstairs for our guests. And we can, then these guys will go downstairs and start serving. Were the Girl Scouts downstairs yet? Yeah. Good. Good, good. <laughs> Usually at this point, the, everyone's testing or tasting desserts because we quite often get our desserts sweet and savory, always as a matter of fact. So it'd be a nice change to have something different tonight. Pauline, I can't cut these tomatoes for you because I don't have a decent knife to do it with. So let me get that out of there. So there you have it. You see things get a little busy and intense here down towards the last few minutes before our guests arrive and but it's all fun new faces and uh, Don's already downstairs Don is always here for us Pauline as always thank you and if you have you know you want to come out some some evening for a 
a meal, you're more than welcome. This is for anybody that just, even if you just want a nice hour to spend with some friends or make some new friends. Oh, you're doing a fine job. <laughs> that is a highly sought after recipe right there. So you can join us at free meals. You can join me at the lodge anytime. I already gave you my phone numbers. So give us a call, come on up. In the meantime, we're gonna finish putting this together and uh, be about ready to serve. Liam, you wanna grab some noodles and bring them over to the pan, please? Noodles, yeah. Noodles, they're in the sink, I think. Uh, yeah, usually you can do this with like penny pasta or something, but I was just kinda in a noodle mood. Dump, oh. <laughs> Not the whole thing, just about half of that. <laughs> we don't want to dump it on the floor. Which, well, you've seen me in the kitchen, you know that's, huh? I don't want the whole thing. Here, flip the thing up. So, anyway, there we go. That's enough. Thank you. And this will be the next one to. Okay, Liam, keep the pot right there. We might as well put the noodles in here, too. It's cold. It's kind of a cold dinner. And I just lost my spoon. Okay, that's fine, stop there, we can have extras. Okay, so these are ready to go. So not as calm and organized as it is when we're up at the kitchen at the lodge, but it's great having all these extra hands. So if you ever wanna join us, just give me a call. In the meantime, be nice to each other, smile for no reason, and I will see you back at the lodge very soon at Connie's Kitchen tonight from Oxford United Methodist Church. Thanks for coming.